what's happening, guys? Uh, I'm just now. It's it's now quarter after eight, and I'm just getting ready. Well, just now, starting to record. Um, I decided to not record as much um, to try to keep the video in one place, whereas in more in not into not as many places in other words keep it in one place not many places um and i didn't i kind of don't have nothing to really talk about honestly um today was kind of a chill day where nothing really happened and nothing um wasn't going on What can I tell you guys? Um, well, let's just go ahead and get one thing out of the way. Yeah, my eyeball is itching. I am scratching it. That's what happens when you, you have allergies and shit. But mine isn't like an all over thing. It's just like one spot either your nose, your throat, or your eyes. But, uh,. Right, it's been in his eyes. Oh, shit. Okay. So at lunchtime, right? I uh, take a route that I have before in the past, but decide, fuck it, I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. So I get trekking down this, this trail, you know, that I've decided to try or whatever, right? And uh, lo and behold, somebody has got two bed rail posts like the metal ones, um, posted up next to a light pole. So yeah, I stop and jump out and grab them. All right, not too bad. We're talking maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds for both of them. Um, and I keep driving. And you know, there's more streets to the left than there is to the right on this particular road. So I look down the street and the left and I see like these bunch of, of what looked to be like lawn chairs sitting beside the, the street. So I back up and I go up there and I take a better look at it, you know, just kind of just kind of eyeballing it and I seen it over tore all the pieces and raggedy and whatever. But I knew that they probably were aluminum. Um so I could back up and I go to the man's house and, you know, knock on the door and say, Hey bud, and, you know these chairs you gonna throw them away he said yep yeah, I sure am he said if you get them I'll give you something else too he says I got a table right here and this right here and this right here and I'm like sweet you know what I'm saying so I walked away with four patio chairs a patio table which we're gonna keep the table because it's not hurt I mean it's I'll show you guys tomorrow I didn't get no footage of nothing today I apologize but Hey, like I said, I was trying to keep shit short. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, four patio chairs, a table. The chairs are shitty. The table was nice. Um, just a little, few little rust spots here and there. Nothing that a little paint can't fix. Um, um, damn it, what's the name of it? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Anyway, it's like one that I can't think of the name. The name is like right here and wants to come out of here, but it's not fucking working. You know what I'm saying? So, it's the one that chicks lay out on. Patio chairs? No, I just said that. These are, these are like bar type patio type chairs. Fuck it. You know the... Like a pool lounge chair, a, a, a reclining lounge type chair. You know, the ones chicks lay out on to get tanned and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got a table, four patio chairs, that, and like five plastic ones. And the plastic ones ain't hurt. None of them are broke, none of them are cracked. So I'll probably keep them too. I mean, I can't do anything with plastic, so. If I can use it, it beats heaven to throw it away. Oh, my Jesus. Ah!
Oh, I don't know how it is that I can come out here and start talking and start yawning. Whereas I can be standing up and won't yawn. I don't get it. But anyhow, um, got all that shit here, got it unloaded. Went back to work. Did that bullshit. Rode the roads the majority of the day. I didn't really do any work. I just drove. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, was kind of like a, it was kind of a chill Monday. Usually Mondays are shitty, and this one was actually pretty fun. And um, I'm expecting to hopefully um, we've got quite a collection of cars that were traded in within the last with over over the weekend and the beginning of this week. And um, I think it's maybe four total, five. But all of them are pretty much crap, and all of them are probably going to the, to the auction, a.k.a. the sale. Some may go to the one we have right here in Greenville, or the other, they may go to uh, one in Kinley. Uh, Mannheim Auto Auction. Pretty sweet shit they have there. You got a little bit of money in your pocket and you go there you might be able to, to uh, well I don't know if it's even open to the public I'm, I, I'm not even sure to be honest with you but they have a lot of high-end vehicles that come through there and some low-end but mostly high-end you know uh, Chargers, Vets, Camaros um, just about any kind of Lexus, Forerunners, Suburbans, Tahoes, Escalades, Denali's uh, the list goes on but anyway, back to the subject in mind. Um, I get to work, do it, get off, and I decide to take a ride. And rather than going and looking for metal, I was trying to go and find me a new phone case because this OtterBox is, well, starting to get kind of bland and old. You know, I like to, to I ain't gonna say keep up with the Joneses, but I like to spruce things up every now and then. So I go in there and I know I've got like U.S. sailors doing away with their belief points. So you're having to, to use them up before you can, you know, you know, you got to use them. Otherwise, you're fucked. You paid for them. You've paid your bill on time and, and made your full payments and all that bullshit. You got all these points collected or whatever. My best advice is if you got a good amount, go use them. Um, I've got maybe a little under or right at 6,000 because I used the majority of mine to get this phone I'm talking on now or recording on, should I say. And, um, you know, that helped me get the upgrade, you know, I used some of my points to help accelerate the upgrade. But anyway, I go in there, right? Let me just give you guys an example. I said I had almost... Let's just say 55 to be safe. So I have 5,500 belief points. Do you guys know that if you go into a U.S. sailor expecting to use your belief points on, let's just say, for example, because it was the only one that I actually paid attention to, after I seen it, I kind of just said, fuck this and walked out. And plus, they had, were busy as shit. They had a line from here to Texas and back. Um... Uh, a life proof the fray one as they call it or free whatever whatever you want to call it I, I don't know I don't know the fancy name for the shit I heard life proof was good that's the reason why I was going to try to look into getting one but I mean I can get it on eBay for a hell of a lot cheaper than 80 bucks you know what I'm saying and I don't have to use almost 13,000 Thirteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Belief points. Um. Some even were even up there into like twenty-two thousand point range. Like what the fuck, really? Who the hell has got that many points accumulated? What do they do with themselves? You know, what, what do they? <laughs> Did they just not upgrade? Did they just not buy a case? Did they? Did, oh, and I used my points to get this Otterbox too. I forgot that. 
So it not only did it accelerate me getting an upgrade earlier than what I was supposed to, it also bought, or yeah, it bought me the damn Autobox. And uh, I mean, this Autobox is the, I've got an, the, the phone is a Samsung Galaxy S5. And um, the Autobox is like the white plastic and it's got the, the, the gray surround it. Oh my God, this fucking radio. Jesus. I knew you guys had to have heard that one. Ah, shit. I gotta get my fat ass adjusted back right. But anyway, uh, so I leave from there. I said, fuck this, I'm leaving. And, uh, I come on home and was gonna get right to come out here and, oh god, I'm under attack by a moth. But anyway, uh, it only sounded like a 747 going past my ear. I don't know if I even caught it on camera or not. Maybe not. Probably not. Son of a bitch. But anyway, uh, yeah. So I come home. Was planning on coming out here and doing recording. And uh, the guy next door that has been giving me some metal or whatever that gave me all the bicycles and shit. Well, I see him pull up. And. I don't even remember if I've even mentioned the thing about the dog being, I think I did. The little puppy that got abandoned that somebody dropped off in his yard and shit. Well, he decided to take it home tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe things will go good and he'll be able to keep the dog at his house and um, all will be well with that. What is the point in a yawn? I mean, it does nothing. It's like one of the most useless body functions that I've ever known of. Aside from having parts that you don't really need, appendix being an example, I still have mine. Maybe it'll last. <laughs> um, I mean, all it is is a little itty bitty looking worm thing. That's what it looks like anyway. But, uh,. So I go over there and I tell him, dude, you know, hey man, I come over here when I got off and gave your, you know, the dog some food and gave him some water because I seen she didn't have any. And uh, we got to talking and whatever and lo and behold, he hooks me up with a shit pile and I'll show you guys tomorrow, I promise. Uh, he, sh he hooks me up with this pile of the Aluminum stripping like I had over there that I showed in the video last night. Um, and not one, but two uh, heat pumps. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. And they were hell. So it's indefinite that... Oh my god. I'm tired of yawning. It is indefinite that I'm going to get a trailer. Um, indefinite or definite? I think I, I think I just fucked that up. Or does indefinite mean it's going to happen regardless? I don't fucking know. I don't care at this point in time. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get a trailer. Um, I don't know when, and I don't know from where. Part of me wants to buy a used one and part of me wants to buy a new one. If I buy a new one, I know that what I do to it is mine, I can do it, and so on and so I mean, shit, I mean, if I go out and buy a used one, yeah, I can do whatever I want to with it. But the main thing is finding a used one with a title. Um, I don't want to buy no bullshit that ain't got no title to it because then I can't, I have to go fuck around here and fuck around there and fuck around some more over there and here to be able to just to get the damn thing registered so I can get tags. Um, Cause I mean, if it comes flying off the back of the truck and creams through somebody's yard and the tongue of the trailer goes up some chick's ass, you know, I'd rather be insured for the situation than to be 
driving something and hauling something uninsured and get fucked even harder than what she just did. Um, so with that being said, it's either going to be a used trailer or a new trailer. New trailers are kind of expensive. I understand, but at the same time, it'll be bought, it'll be paid for, it'll be done and over with. If I go out and buy a used one, I mean to have to put money into it where it may need lights, it may need wiring, it may need tires, it may need new wheel bearings, um, it doesn't come with a warranty. Um, And then plus two, you know, it, it may be, it may come down to being some bullshit with trying to get it registered. I don't know yet. I just don't know. And I have looked into it a little bit, but it's it's not nothing serious right now. I'd rather have the cash in hand, which I I have the money to go out and buy, not one but two trailers if I really wanted to. And we're talking like seven hundred dollars, so fourteen hundred bucks, pretty much. Um. But I don't want to, to do that. I, I, I'm trying to, to cheap it out, guys. I'm trying to, like, I ain't saying that I'm a cheap ass, but I mean, fuck. You know, who the hell wants to spend $700? I mean, even if I, even if I had it, if I had it set aside away from the 1400 that I already had, then fuck it, hell yeah, I'd love to do it. But I've been trying to save this money up to get shit done to the truck. And. It's kind of a catch-22. I need the trailer for extra storage. Now, I could borrow somebody's, and it may happen. But uh, what if you borrow somebody's and the tags just ran out on it? It'll be just as bad as not having any fucking tags on the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Um... Other than that, I don't know. Um, we're approaching the. We're getting ready to be approaching the uh, 18 minute mark here in a minute. And uh, I think I'm going to cut it tight then. Um, yeah, cut it tight, not cut it loose. Cut it loose, I'll be sitting here recording all fucking night. But it's indefinite. There we go again. Indefinite. I'm gonna have to look that fucking word up. Cause I mean, I feel like a complete dickhead if I'm saying something stupid, and I probably am. I don't know. But anyway, let's just say that it's going to happen. As far as trying to get a trailer, and I'm going to. I'm not sure if my old lady's got to work Saturday or not. I don't remember. I mean, I think she told me, but I, I don't. I can't keep certain stuff in my mind when I have other shit that's bombarded, you know, bombarding my brain that's a tad bit somewhat more important than her telling me what time she's got to work. I keep up with my own schedule. But I try not to keep up with somebody else's unless I absolutely had to. And, you know, I may be an asshole for saying that, but... It's just me but if I can get a get the trailer get a trailer buy a trailer borrow a trailer do something with a fucking trailer some of this shit is going away from here this weekend and I'm hoping that it's not gonna be raining <clears throat> because the water well I don't know I mean I some of it's gonna go by weight but I don't I don't know but either way, I gotta get, I got, I want to get this pile of shit right here mainly up out of here first. And then them fucking microwaves over there that, yeah, you can see them. Get them up out of here. Um, I got a refrigerator back there that needs to go. I mean, all of it, I'm thinking seriously about just cashing it all in, even if the prices are low. And going ahead and just saying, uh, fuck it. And doing it, taking the money and just putting it aside. And then when I build up some more, I do it all over again. It may take me another year before I can get the money up the dam, get the wheels, but in the end, you can say I've worked my ass off for it.
And can't nobody say they gave it to me. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, I think that's going to be it, boys. Thank you